So now we have VX slider in place. Let's take a look how we can add a, a, a slider of the entries that we have in our, in our block. So I'm gonna add a div with ID slider. Next, I'm gonna add a UL tag with the class VX slider. And next, I'm gonna write the custom loop that we have for this part. I'm gonna set this to args and this, set this to an array and I'm gonna pass some key value pairs. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna add a post per page and I'm gonna print the latest four entries. Next, I'm gonna set this to order by and I'm gonna say this to the date and order this descending. So we have the latest entry showing first. And finally, we can query for the post type. And the post that we're gonna query is the post because if you remember here in WordPress, you have posts and you have pages. So let's continue working with our custom loop. I'm gonna add a slider variable and I'm gonna set this to a new WP query. And here I'm gonna pass all the R's that we have successfully or previously added. Next, I'm gonna add a while and I'm gonna while slider have post and access the object the slider the post and I'm gonna copy this and while and WP reset post data because we need that for our project and I'm gonna check that this variable is in empty so I'm gonna print R and I'm gonna print the slider so let's save and reload and you can see we have all of this. So we're gonna print an li tag. Each slide is gonna be contained in, in one li tag. And we need to add an anchor tag. And also we need to add an image for the for each entry, like we have here. So we have the uh, anchor tag, and I'm gonna add the function that prints the link for these entries and the function is called the permalink inside this php block and if you, we don't remember this img so i'm gonna add the post thumbnail and i'm gonna pass the feature size that we have previously added that we have here in the functions.php right here so let's save and reload and now you can see we have each image one it, but above each other and we can click here and it will take us to the full entry so in order to make this work we're gonna open the script.js and i'm gonna add the shorthand syntax for the document ready i'm gonna add function and i'm gonna pass this dollar sign that we have here and i'm gonna open the curly braces and finally let's add jquery Remember to add the semicolon. And I'm gonna make this, this working. So I'm gonna add an alert, alert, it works. So let's save and reload. You can see it says it works. But if you remember, we have this UL Becky slider. So I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna make this selector. This is the universal selector that comes with uh, jQuery. And I'm gonna add a dot. This is a class. And I'm gonna add Becky slider. Next, I'm gonna execute the function that comes with this slider. So I'm gonna type VX slider, and this function is provided by VX slider that will execute this as a slider for our project. And I'm gonna pass, uh, well, an option. The mode for this is gonna be fade. So I'm gonna save and reload. Now you can see we have our slider working and we have these arrows, arrows right here. So we can click here and this is the mode that comes with the, the mode fade. I think they have a mode horizontal, but it's having trouble with the latest version. Now oh, this is working. And also we have mode vertical, which I really, really don't like because I think this make my head or my eyes hurt. I'm gonna stick with the fade mode. So I'm gonna reload and you can see we have the latest entries in our, in our block are showing here as a feature entries. So we're almost done with this part. Here we have these three 
three columns that we have. So in the next video, we're going to tackle that in this course.